Hey there, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So There's so many people that come onto my YouTube channel that have seen that I managed to go from super skinny, as you can see here, to looking very ripped and muscular. Ask me time and time again, how do you stay motivated during that time of transform your body and how do you still stay motivated to train on a regular basis now? Because these people that are asking me this time and time again say they find it very hard to keep themselves motivated to consistently train on a regular basis over a long period of time to get the results that they desire with their body. And the simple answer is motivation is gonna come and go. That's as simple as it is. You can go and listen to some motivational talk on YouTube or some audio or even some music and it will build up that momentum in you to get yourself to push yourself a bit. But like I said, motivation is going to come and go. And I can tell you this from my own personal experience. Many times throughout my whole year transformation and even up until this current point where I've been training for many, many months after that year transformation, I do not want to go to the gym and train and work out to sustain the results that I have and get even more strength and build even more muscle and so I can keep a very lean, ripped, muscular body. But the thing that keeps me going and makes me so motivated and disciplined, which you need to follow this rule, you have to be willing to do what other people are not willing to do and to just push yourself no matter if you want to do it, so many times I don't want to go to the gym, but my desire to have the results that I have and sustain them is so big because I want it so badly. I want it as bad as I want to breathe. If someone held my head underwater, all I would care about is wanting to breathe. And that's how bad that I wanted the body that I have got now. And that's why I transformed it so well within a year. So think to yourself, how big is my why? Because the bigger your why is, the easier it's gonna to be to stick to whatever you need to be doing with your training to get to the body that you desire and actually sustain it long term. So you need to be also the parent to yourself and the best parent to yourself possible. And kick yourself up the arse and tell yourself, I am gonna get out that door, get on my gym clothes and go and train. And there is so many times, like I said, that I haven't wanted to go and train, but I kick myself up the arse. I do what I just mentioned to you, and I push myself to go to the gym, and then when I do it, yes, it can be a struggle at times, but I get through it, and then afterwards, I feel so good about myself. So it's all about mind over matter. It doesn't matter if you feel motivated or not, you go and do it, because you know it's gonna bring you closer towards your goal rather than further away from it. Do you just wanna be one of these people that just fail in life and you try something and you just give up when it just gets challenging? Because so many times there's gonna be challenges, but you need to push through them. You need to be that warrior and just make it fucking happen. Have no fucking excuses and just get it done. It is as simple as that. And I can tell you with anyone that has become successful with achieving anything in life, whether it's their dream life, their dream partner, their dream location to live, their dream body or whatever, you have these challenges and so many times you don't do, well, you feel that you don't wanna do certain things. But you think to yourself, okay, if I just slack off and not actually do that thing that I don't wanna do, is it gonna bring me further away from my goal or closer towards it? And it's always gonna bring you further away from it. And then you have the choice of either quitting and not going towards doing what you don't want to do and it's going to bring you further away from your goal and then you're going to feel not very good about yourself. It's going to lower your confidence, your self-esteem and then it's just, just not going to make you feel good at all. And this is the type of mentality that a lot of people have. They only do what they feel they want to do and they don't like to seek discomfort. They only do what is comfortable. But you need to get out of your comfort zone and push yourself to your greatness and towards your goals with whatever you want in life. And this is the type of mentality that I have towards anything in life. That's why I get to live in Thailand, which is a tropical paradise for the last four years, and why I earn a six-figure income. And before I'm telling you, I lived in England in a place that had the highest crime rate in England. Most people never leave there. At one point, I almost ran out of money and I wanted to end my life. It was really, really bad. And before, I used to be very skinny, weak and frail. And I used to have so many addictions and so many other things that were just not good for me or anyone in my life at all. And it was just breaking me down. But I made the choices to make 
things change. And I just did so many times all of these different things that I needed to repetitively over and over and over and over again. Even if I failed to pick myself up again and try again and again and again and in the end I was seeding, I just knew that I had to have this type of mentality that I've mentioned already where it's like, I just have to do what I don't even feel like doing to get the results that I want. And I'm telling you, every person in the world that has achieved anything has to do a lot of things that they don't like doing. You don't necessarily always enjoy it as well, but it brings you closer to what you want. And that is what it's all about. So yeah, it's good to listen to some motivational music or some audio or something else to get you going. But like I said, motivation is gonna come and go. But as long as you've got that burning desire within you and you're always focused upon what you want rather than what you don't want, and you think to yourself always, what is gonna bring me closer towards that? And you always go towards that because what I can say as well alongside that is by being more self-disciplined and doing things you don't wanna to do to achieve more of what you want in life, in any area of life, including the body and the fitness levels and energy levels and so on, is you are forming a better connection with yourself. Because someone that loves themselves as much as they possibly can and has as much self-worth as possible and wants to work on being more loving towards themselves and build their self-worth and esteem and confidence levels is going to do so many things that is going to bring them closer to becoming a better version of themselves, creating more of what they want within their life and in many other areas of life so then you can also have the most happiest, healthy human experience possible. And you're gonna do the things whether you want to do them or not. And I always think of myself and other people, like children. Say that you bring children into this world. They get to a certain age where they don't wanna do certain things that you know are good for them. Do you just let them slack off or do you kick them up the arse and say, come on, this is gonna be good for you, and you get them to do it, and then they actually feel really good about themselves. So that's the type of mentality you need to take with yourself. You need to be the best parent to yourself that you possibly can be. And don't let yourself slack off whatsoever, because if you start slacking off, you're gonna get fat and overweight, or you're gonna be very skinny, weak, and frail. It's not gonna make you feel good about yourself in any way, shape, or form, for completely understandable, obvious reasons that I don't even need to go into. So yeah. If you're feeling demotivated, just pick yourself up, put on some motivating music, that's absolutely fine. Get yourself all reared up, and then go to the gym and work out with whatever type of working out program that you're doing, a workout regime, and just grind through it. And your mind may want you to quit during the workouts. I've had that happen many times before. But then I always remember back to certain other workouts where I had even more of a challenge with my mind. It was even more harder and I managed to get through them. So I'm always pulling something up from what I would say, the cookie jar. The cookie jar is something I got from David Goggins, one of the best motivational, inspirational people out there. If you don't know about him, look into him. And the cookie jar is all the memories of certain other more challenging things that you've been through. And you know if you can get through something that you don't want to do that's challenging for you, and you've been through something that is way more challenging that you didn't want to do in the past, or some adversity that you was given that you got through, then you know you can get through pushing yourself to actually train, which may be really hard to initially do and actually get through a whole entire workout. So that is the way that I can explain it to the best of my ability from my own personal experience. And one last thing that I wanna say is, if you're someone that saw my year transformation, where I gained around 10 kilos of muscle, during that transformation, my pregnant girlfriend, who was six months pregnant with my child, passed away right in front of me in a tragic accident. But did I give up? No, I did not whatsoever. Why? Because I wanted the results so badly and nothing was gonna stop me from achieving what I desired. So even though I had to go through this traumatic experience and go through the grieving process and all the pain around that, yes, there was times I had to rest more and take care of myself more and get the help I needed, but I always made sure that I consistently train on a regular basis because I wanted it that badly. And I knew that when I would actually work out, even when I didn't want to, during those times, it actually made me feel better. Because when you train, you get an endorphin release, which is feel good hormones, and it gets your blood circulating way more effectively. It floods your body with oxygen, and you just get all of these different chemical interactions in your body and within your mind that just make you feel so good whilst you're working out and afters as well. So it really helped as a pick me up, and it really helped me get through 
that intense trauma that I went through. So if I can get through something like that and heal from it fully, because I have quite a while ago, because this happened quite a while ago, and still train consistently, you can do it. Because most people aren't gonna go through as of a challenging thing as much as I did with my girlfriend passing away in front of me. So if I can still train consistently with that adversity happening in my life and that challenge, then you can definitely train consistently. Stop having these excuses, stop slacking, and just make it happen. Do it. It's as simple as that. You have the choice to go in this direction or that direction, and it's as simple as that. Making that choice or this choice. It's really not difficult, it's not brain science, it's not really that challenging at all. You just need to go, I'm gonna do this or I'm not gonna do this. And it's easier to say no, because like I said, people don't like to feel discomfort, they don't like doing what they don't wanna do. But to be honest, the people that do more of what they don't wanna do, brings them closer towards more of what they want rather than what they don't want. And I'm telling you, most people in today's world, they're in a relationship that is not ideal for them, they're in a job that they hate, they don't have the body that they desire. Most people are very unhealthy with so many health issues and they're just miserable and dying on the inside. And it is just a mediocre human experience. And you will just go to your deathbed with so many regrets in you and all of your dreams and your desires and everything else. And that's not what I want to do, that's not what I'm doing whatsoever. And I want to inspire people to become more of themselves and create more of their dream life and everything else as well. So I hope this video has inspired you and motivated you and taught you something to get yourself motivated to train consistently and also to apply these things to other areas of life as well. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below for me as always. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone else that you think would love to hear about what I shared with you today in this video in relation to specifically staying motivated to train consistently. And if you aren't ready, click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And if you'd like me to make more videos like this, let me know down below and I would definitely make more in the future. I love making these types of videos. I don't normally make them on a regular basis, but it's something that I am very passionate about making these types of videos like I have with this specific video. And make sure, if you wanna be notified of when new videos, you do click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification buttons and other type of videos you can expect to get from me are videos on weight loss, intermittent fasting, extended fasting, dry fasting, calisthenics, calisthenics workout and progression videos, what I eat and do in a day videos, and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you and also teach you information that is actually going to be effective for you to go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body that you desire, the fitness levels and energy levels. So, as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace. Boom, motherfucker.